My name is Lester Hudson, <clears throat> and I'm currently living in Farmington, New Mexico, but originally from the uh, Seattle area, which is just uh, west of Gallup. My clan is a Sinajini and Shle. I do top of it, but it's chin do kia ani dash na lo na kaidu nei dash che. And I came here just to look at the uh, at least the uh, artifacts, documents, pictures that were shown in the museum. <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to do this because uh, I am an educator, a school administrator, superintendent, principal, and a teacher, and currently still teach. And I'm very interested in the history of the, at least our Navajo people. And you read a lot about in terms of all the different aspects of the the history that we we went through. And I wanted to see for myself in terms of uh, looking at the the original agreement. And so that's the reason why me and my wife came down <clears throat> to look at it and just reading some of the documents seeing some of the pictures it really hits you <laughs> i guess when you think about it how our people went through all the tragedy just make you appreciate where you're at. <laughs> and when you think about it, it's, it hits home. And you think, you think of your relatives, your grandma, your parents, and now you have to think about your, our own children and our own grandchildren. How are they going to survive? What will it take for them to be successful? So this scene that really hits home. And reading some of the material and just basically looking at the map of what they went through, looking at the, the oil painting that was there, it really hits home. And then you think, wow, we, we as the Navajo people, I guess you could say, went through a lot, tragedy, We per uh, more or less went through, and the perseverance that we have, the resiliency that we have, we're able to make, we're able to adopt, able to make changes. We're still in that stage, as far as I could see. <clears throat> we have a long ways to go before we become really totally self-sufficient. I talk to my kids, I talk to my grandkids, and I talked to a lot of my students and tell them that, hey, you got to make something of yourselves. And if they could just see this, I think they'll have a better understanding of terms of what it means to be self-sufficient. They have to understand how important education plays in our lives. And like I said, I've been through all that. I'm a retired administrator teacher and so from that perspective I think uh, I wish more people would come here and look at the, at least the at least all of the documents and I was reading some of the material it's really amazing and I'm just really thankful that I had an opportunity to go through I want to thank the museum people for bringing this document and hopefully that we can have it again in the future.
for the younger generation to see, learn to appreciate what they have is the way I look at it. So that's what I want to convey. <laughs>